Jonathan Schwartz, soy un maestro de matemáticas y carpintería en Estados Unidos. Hoy tengo un muy bien problema de STEM. STEM es la ciencia, tecnología, ingeniería y también matemáticas. Aquí está el problema. Yo tengo 12 clavos. El problema, todos los clavos sobre el que esté clavado aquí. So, es posible para todos 12 clavos está aquí. I just want to show you one of my favorite uh, little quick STEM projects for kind of any age kids. I'm actually down in Chile right now and I got to get this project done and I don't have any of the tools I usually have at home. I do have a pencil, a tape measure, hammer, a saw, and 12 nails, uh, 12 three inch nails. Um, lumber here is kind of funny. It's dimensioned in inches this way, but the length is metric, and then it's never really quite um, what you expect it is. I want to find the exact center of that block, so I'm going to use a straight edge, and this is kind of using the Pythagorean theorem. To find the exact center, I mark a hypotenuse in a right triangle. When I do that again right here, and if my block's a perfect rectangle, the two hypotenuse are going to set the exact midpoint. So there's Pythagorean theorem. So there's the middle of my block. And here's the trick. And it's all about a low center of gravity. I have one on the bottom. Pinch them together. And it has a low center of gravity. And there it is, all 12 nails balance on the head of one nail. This is a great STEM project. Um, it's a fun puzzle and there's a little bit of making involved um, and I use a lot of different math ideas here um, and the idea in science is the low center of gravity and I lay out 12 holes here equally around the whole block so I want to have holes for all 12 of the nails so I could just take my puzzle and put it on a desktop or keep it somewhere. I drew it out on a piece of graph paper here six by ten and then I'm going to do the layout for the nail holes here um, equally spaced around. I'm going to offset in one centimeter so I'm going to go in one centimeter so this was a ten centimeter length and because I'm removing one centimeter from each side this is a eight centimeters this was six centimeters Oops, six centimeters so the inside is four centimeters. Put a nail in each corner. And then I'm gonna take uh, that eight, and if I wanna get these things all spaced around accurately, um, I have 12 total nails. So this is gonna be one, two, three, four. Um, so I have eight more nails. If I could get six of them on here, three and three and one and one, that'll add up to 12. So I let the kids figure out the best layout. Works out to, with six and ten. It works out well. Um, it's going to be two centimeters between each one. So two centimeters. So that's my twelve nails laid out accurately on my block. I drew in a four centimeter by eight centimeter square, and then I marked my corners. Then I used my tape measure and measured down two centimeters and get all my marks in there and then I'm gonna I actually found a drill and I'm gonna drill those holes and we'll see how well spaced we are. Those are my twelve holes and then the thirteenth nail. This hole I don't drill, this hole I need to nail it in. Then all these nails, you have a nice holder for them. 